A sign welcomes students aboard the home of the Page Pirates. It's the first high school on the, on the priority list, is that right? To some county officials, it's a sinking ship. There's water coming down walls, water dripping from pipes, um, and those are things that not only are, are um, safety issues, but you know sends a message to our kids that it's not a priority. So this is the drain that backs up, and it literally floods that whole downstairs area. This is the drain backs up. There's classrooms with partition walls and no windows, glitching security cameras. And sometimes you'll lose two to three seconds, so you don't see the full issue that you're trying to look at, so you can't really piece it together like we need to. Bathrooms that are not ADA compliant, failing HVAC systems. Great knowledge, right? This science classroom can't be used because of air conditioning issues. The tables are falling apart. Yeah, it frustrates students. Students have friends at other schools. They see how some of these other schools look. They want to be a part of the best. David Rogers has taught at Page for the past 22 years. His classroom is in a newer wing of the school. It still has issues. Because it was hot. And when it is hot, my kids want to put their heads down. And it's very, very hard to learn with your head on the desk. But I understand that your comfort and your level of comfort is going to trump anything that Mr. Rogers has to say. He's hopeful improvements will level the playing field for all students in the county and make classrooms a place they want to be. We bring kids in, they see brand new facilities, they see the brand new tile, even just the bright colors in the school. It, it brings life and it brings life and it brings energy to the kids and to the, uh, the whole building, the whole community.